Senator Ovie Omagege also bared his mind on the issues raised at the just concluded Southern Senators Forum. Well, I think that confirmed about 2014, if I'm right. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, well, the decision we took uh, when this matter came up uh, the last time it was debated, uh, I recall the suggestion was made not really by the Deputy Senate President. If my memory serves me right, it was by Senator Mao uh, from Abia uh, who uh, recommended that uh, that confab report, you know, uh, be brought before us for reconsideration or for consideration. And that was the position we voted on and we, uh, was accepted uh, uh, by all. But we also took a decision at the time, you know, that uh, uh, we needed to calm uh, Fred Nebs, you know, uh, by not plunging into an uh, open uh, and holistic debate at that time. And that was in the heat of uh, 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 the IPOB uh, agitation in the Southeast. We wanted Tempas to cool down. Uh, we requested at the time that the leadership of the, of the Senate should uh, 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 call a retreat, you know, uh, where this report and other issues, you know, be brought up uh, for uh, consideration. Now, I understand that uh, uh, the governors of the South, they met in Lagos, I believe. Was it Lagos they met? I'm not so sure. Uh, I think they took uh, a similar position. And then we as Southern Senators also met in, uh, in Calabar and took uh, 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 a similar position. You see, the thing is, the, the legislative powers of this country is vested in National Assembly. So we have the authority to actually sit down and look at these issues. I don't believe that there's anybody who is against uh, restructuring. When people talk about restructuring, you know, people, it means different things to different people. Nobody's asking that this country be broken up. I, as a senator from Niger Delta, I won't even support that. I want us to remain as one country. But we must remain as one country based on fair and equitable terms. Now, in the last process, some months ago, when the, the National Assembly began the process again of amending the Constitution, we saw a, a huge you know, kickback against restructuring, particularly from the Northern Senators. How, what would this, your Southern Senators um, group, what would you be doing differently to convince the Northern Senators as towards this agenda? Well, see, they need to understand that, you see, I think the fear most of them have is that we are pushing, or some people are pushing, for the dissembling of the country, to, that is, uh, splitting the country into different uh, uh, republics, so to, so to speak. That is not what most of those who are agitating are seeking, or at least the reasonable ones amongst them. Nobody is seeking the disintegration of this country. Nobody is seeking a division of this country. You know, we want to remain together as a country. But the question becomes, on what terms? I think the moment they understand that that is what we are looking at, you know, uh, they will come to terms with that. What we are seeking for the most part you know, is devolution of powers to the constituent states. But then again, when you also devolve powers, it also comes with uh, 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 also funding being also sent to these states, right, to be able to handle some of those uh, uh, powers that have, not been, that have not been devolved to them, you know. And, you see, we believe, especially we from from the south, we believe that there's too much power at the center. The exclusive legislative list is too wild, too wide and too wide. That some of those powers should go back to the states. Now, it is not all of those powers that we all agree on that should be devolved. You know, in an ideal situation, for instance, like the police powers now, for instance, we part to create a, a state police. On a good day, if you look at other crimes, Take the United States, for instance. Uh, not only do you have uh, uh, state police, you have county police, you even have university police, you know, uh, you know. But here in Nigeria, we've not matured to that level yet. Now, this is where we draw the curtains on this week's edition of The Gavel. If you have any views on any of the issues discussed, please email us on thegavel at channelstv.com. Thank you for staying with us and see you again next week. Thank you.